first of all, the law says it has to be in your IEP by age 16. Has to, has to. And um, the way you would address that would be in a due process hearing. You would, you know, have that be an allegation. Or if you weren't ready for due process, you could make a complaint to the California Department of Education and you could, or your state education agency and say, there's no, you know, ITP in place and my daughter is 16. Now the ITP is a huge issue. We're probably going to have to have a whole show on it um, because what people don't understand is that you do have to have an individualized transition plan in your IEP and it does need to be in place by age 16. And the other thing is it has to have teeth. And that's where the rubber hits the road because if you look at these, the district is generally using a template. They're not, you know, even going through the motions of individualizing it. They're not doing the assessments they're supposed to be doing to figure out what the predicate steps are for this person who's supposed to assume responsibility for his education at 18 and his life at, you know, that point in many respects as well. And the, the thing that's so interesting about it is, you know, the ITP is buried in the back of the IEP, and oftentimes I've gone to IEP meetings where, you know, they weren't even planning to have any discussion about it. And if you look at the um, ML versus Mercer Island case, which we haven't really talked about yet, but it's a case that sets forth the standard for um, idea progress in uh, the Ninth Circuit, which is my circuit, um, it also talks about how in 1997, there were a lot of amendments made to IDEA. And at that time, the focus in IDEA shifted from access to the classroom to adult uh, independence. And this case talks about how the whole purpose of IDEA is to prepare you to either work or go to college when you reach 18. And everything in your education is supposed to be preparing you for those steps. And so that means that, you know, you can't just tell a family, well, all we care about is academics. You know, you have to care about the things that make the person employable and independent, too. So the ITP is very important. The districts never do them properly. And I've just sort of, I'm on a, you know, personal mission now to force districts to reform IEPs, ITPs. And, you know, this book that you're getting or uh, this little booklet online that Shannon's going to post about how to do the ITP is very interesting because it suggests who to invite and what questions to ask and what assessments are needed and that if people want to, they can invite the Department of Rehab, and at the very end it says it may even make sense to have uh, a separate IEP just to develop the transition plan. Now this is going to make districts mad because they don't want to have multiple IEPs, but as my client said when I mentioned this to her, you know, this document, this little plan, this two-page plan is about the rest of your life. <laughs> And so it's very, very important to actually deal with the ITP. That's probably enough for now, but, you know, you can um, take a look at the, um, the disability rights book, and you'll see it's really, really important. I and mean, we're going to have Samantha put that up on the screen right now. It's kind of long, and I think that we'll also share it on Facebook, but there it is right there. Uh, for anybody who's interested, the goodie that Bonnie is talking about that talks about how to be able to do the ITP, that is how you would find it. And we'll also, uh, hopefully later on today, we'll post it on our Facebook page as well, a link to it. Um, but, the, you know, I think for a lot of people, quite honestly, Bonnie, I think we do need to do a whole show on the ITP, the, the individual transition plan, because my son's about to be 14, and, yeah. and I didn't... I didn't hear about an ITP until somebody was talking about it on the show maybe two years ago. And I like to think that I'm a fairly informed person. Um, and I was like, what? There's a, th what? And I know when I have brought it up in the past uh, with my old school district, they were like, oh, that happens when he's 16. And everything I'm hearing is that it, it needs to be done by their 16. So I... Says, yeah. So, uh, you know, my my thing is, you know, why are the school, because this seems like something we should be aware of when our kids are much younger. I think that every person who has a three-year-old needs to know that that comes later on so that we can be thinking about that. Right. Uh, right. Anyway, so well, let's I mean, do a show on it. 
my my general message to people and don't shoot the messenger is you know age 18 does come and it's very difficult and there's a lot of things that need to be done and so it's easier just to hang out in the threes fours sevens and tens but you know there's a lot of planning that needs to be done for adulthood and we don't really have a post 22 idea program for adults and that's a huge issue <laughs>